how do you feel about Lionel Messi in Miami and being a permanent Miami resident? How do you feel about that? I mean, like the rest of the world, I'm sure they're they're very sad and heartbroken that this guy has picked Miami when every place wanted this guy to come. Uh, he said no to crazy money. You know why? Because Miami's the greatest city in the world. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Have you have you talked to to uh, specific people in the city about it? You know, David, Jorge, anybody? Uh, how uh, are they feeling the excitement? What are, what are you feeling in terms of the energy of the city? Um, you, you know, they made this big announcement, like you know, last week. And the city just went crazy. Like I, I could kind of relate to when LeBron said, I'm taking my talents to South Beach. Right. That's the only thing I've seen as close to this as possible. Or when David Beckham announced that the team was coming to Miami. I mean, we've had a couple of insane things, but this is this is topping everything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have you gone to to a game uh, uh, since, since it started, David? I mean, I know it's a stupid question. I've seen you, but I'd love to hear you say it. How 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 invested are you in Inter Miami Club de Football? <laughs> well, I mean, listen, you know, anything Miami, I'm invested in. That's for sure. And and right. you know, Jorge Moss and, and David Beckham and David Garner and all the guys that are involved with the team to pull this off is something that that Miami should be very grateful for. I know I am. It's it's just going to change. You know, Miami's already gone through a renaissance and this is just putting that stamp of approval that we're the one. Messi lives a pretty private life, like whether it's Barcelona, Paris, and obviously naturally so, right? And he's actually an introvert by, by heart, yeah. right? But but he does venture out every now and again, you know, when he went to Argentina, he went to, to a restaurant and obviously half the country was outside of the restaurant. Uh, what do you expect... Uh, of Messi in Miami and how he's going to live his life, do you think? Yeah, I mean, listen, the great thing about Miami, people are kind of used to seeing some of the biggest people in the world there. That's that's for sure. But, you know, I'm definitely looking into opening an Argentinian steakhouse. That's I was going to sure. ask you that. Of I course. was going to ask you that. <laughs> listen, man, I mean, we're, we're on it right now. Whatever we can do. I mean. Like, is that for real? Like, you're really legitimately trying to do it? <laughs> I mean, of course. Listen, I mean, I, he's going to be a long ball player here, right? So we might as well make him happy. I love it. I love it. What, it, it will you call it Leo? Will you call it the King of Kings, La Pulga or something? <laughs> Listen, I'll call whatever he wants as long as he's coming. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. So obviously, you know, uh, like I mentioned, you talked to Pogba and Kylian Mbappé. I Jimmy Butler, I know, is a big fan. Have you been getting any kind of like feels from them in terms of specifically Jimmy? Because obviously Jimmy Butler is a big Miami guy. Has he said anything? No, no. About Jimmy with 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 Paul and Neymar and all these guys. I mean, he really knows more about soccer than 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 anything. It's crazy. Uh, yeah. I haven't yeah. talked to him especially about this, uh, but I'm listen. Knowing Jimmy, like like the rest of Miami, we're excited. You know, this is this is a big deal, guys. Like, I mean, I can't even. It's it's insane. And it really hasn't hit yet. I think as soon as he goes out on the field, you know, in July, I think that's when you're really going to feel like it's real. No one believes it's real yet. You know what I mean? It's like right. he's coming. We know he's coming, but he hasn't hasn't got on the grass yet. Once he gets on the grass, I think it's going to be crazy. I love it. All right. One more question and then I will let you go to your beautiful Sardinia, David, and my best to your family as well. Hope you guys have a great uh, time. So. What do you, I mean, I'm asking this of everybody, not just because, uh, not just like people in the soccer industry, but what, what do you think Messi is going to mean to soccer culture in America? I mean, we know what David Beckham did for it. What do you think Messi is going to do for it? I mean, listen, soccer is on fire in America right now. And we think it's just going to, he's just going to keep growing this and growing this and growing this. You know, Americans love soccer, you know, so. I just think it's just going to, it's just going to, it's insane, man. I yeah. mean, it, it's just so good that he's in Miami. He picked yeah. the right lifestyle. That's for sure. He wants to live a good life. I mean, Miami's the place. Well, listen, you make this Argentinian restaurant. I want to, I want to seat right next to Leo Messi and Antonella, right? Just, just you're just, in, you're in, you're in for sure. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis, and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.